Okay, what I've gone and did is I went ahead and I sanded the edge there, the edge there, and the same on the other side. Next thing I did was I looked at them and I determined what's going to go where. This is the nicest looking one, so this will be on the outside. This has a little blemish on it, so what I'm going to do is that's going to be glued together and stitched together on the inside there so you'll never see that blemish and this side looks pretty good too but that's the prettiest side so that's going to be on the outside now I've got to lay out where I'm going to put my design and it's going to be a uh, a basket weave so what I've done is I took my pattern remember it looked like this and I cut it up it was all in one piece and I cut this side off and I cut this side off and I'm going to use these to lay out my stitch lines I've already done this one and I've marked it on the leather with my all keep in mind this this is going to be dyed brown and I can't very well use an ink pen on it because that'll leave an unsightly mark it's gonna make a mark there make a mark there take my straight edge there it is and connect the dots I don't want to go all the way to the edge because you could see where it goes over there 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 and there if I do that so it's just one of those little things that makes it just a little bit nicer and if you pay attention to the details then the whole thing will come out just that little bit nicer there we go I got that line marked now next thing I want to do is mark the top and bottom I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, dividers and set them for just a little bit oh, there they are a little bit proud of an eighth of an inch. Carefully mark the bottom. And the same thing across the top. Make sure you turn it where it curves. keep a consistent width and there you go basically that's all laid out now for the angle that the uh, basket weave is going to sit at I'm just going to eyeball it off of my belt I see I want to be right about there You ever have a song going through your head and you can't seem to get rid of it? I keep hearing a song. It's a Christmas song. My wife sang it to me one year. And I can't get it out of my head. It keeps going through my head now. It's not there all the time. Just right now it's going through my head. And it's a song that goes, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. And uh, it won't leave my brain alone. That looks good right there. So I'll hold that on there. Move that out of the way. Take my scratch off. 
and go ahead and mark that. And that's where I'm going to start my stamping. I'm going to start there and build it out. Then I'm going to do all my borders. I might do a border around here and around there. <laughs> just, just because. Just because I think it'll look good. And we'll get back when I get set up to do the stamping. All right, we're all set up. I got my mallet, I got my wrist brace, and I got the two stamps I'm gonna use. Well, mostly gonna use this one. This is my uh, basket weave stamp. And I got my water, I already dampened my leather and let it dry out a little bit, or let it dry a little bit. So it will take the stamp the way I want it to. First stamp's gonna be right smack dab in the middle. Right like Right like that, right on my line. And the next stamps, stamps, series of stamps, are all going to come off of that one. Just lay it on the line, give it a whack, tilt it back the other way, give it a whack, and that makes a nice deep impression. Just like that. Now I'm going to take, continue that all the way across and then build up from that on either side. And we'll come back when I'm a little bit further along. Okay, that's pretty much got the basket weave part stamped in. Um, I started the border on this side and I'm going to continue that all the way around. But right now, I'm starting to lose my daylight. I forgot how early it gets dark out here. So, I am going to have to wait until later. Well, tomorrow, basically. When I got some more daylight coming through my big picture window. I've got this light. But, as you can tell, it gives me a shadow. And the daylight coming in my big picture window helps to uh, fill, that, fill that in. But, you get the idea of what I'm going after. And once I get that all done, get all the stamping done, we'll come back and I'll show it to you. Well, the stamping is done. I've got the basket weave stamp done and the border in place. Let's see. There you go. Okay, and um, I'm gonna let that dry overnight because I do wet the uh, I do wet the leather, but I like it to be completely dry before I do any kind of dye work or anything else on it. Um, let's see now. I guess the next step would be to go ahead and bevel these edges, mark it out for the stitch lines and the glue lines. Maybe go ahead and punch some stitch holes. Yeah, I'll go ahead and punch some stitch holes in it, and then put some uh, put some dye on it. Anyway, like I said basket weaves finished. Oh, after I glue the two sides together and I get all these edges evened out around here, then I can go ahead and put a border just inside here where the stitch line is going to go. I think it'll it'll help to enhance the whole thing. Yeah. I still hope I remember to do it when I get to that step. Anyway, finally happened. This is one part of my basket weave stamp. This is the other part. They're not supposed to be in two separate pieces. <laughs> That's supposed to sit right on top of there. But, you know, I've used it a lot and I've used it for a number of years. And I guess it was bound to happen sooner or later. Basically what I think happened is um, when you get to the edges, like close to the edges here, you don't have room for a full stamp. I got another basket weave stamp. You take and you tilt it and give it a whack. And you know, after doing that for a number of years, it finally fatigued and broke. No biggie. I did a test run with my other, there we go, with my other um, basket weave stamp. 
I think that's kind of a cool pattern. I'm going to use that on something. Anyway, that's where we're at. And when we come back, we'll see how far I've gotten. See you then.